Uh, I am uh, so grateful to have uh, uh, my brother with us all the way from Accra, Ghana. Uh, our amen. Give God glory for traveling grace. Uh, we had a, uh, a delegation uh, from uh, New Birth uh, in uh, Ghana on last month, and uh, we went by his church on a Tuesday, ironically. Went by his church on a Tuesday uh, for witness and testimonies, and uh, I'm telling you, uh, it was uh, just uh, percolating with expectation. The spirit was so high. The spirit of excellence was uh, that much more abounding. Uh, and uh, I said to him that day, listen, uh, you have got to come and be a part of what it is that we were doing. He wasn't even scheduled. Uh, but I said, you've got to be here. Uh, and I am so grateful that he could uh, navigate in his schedule uh, to be with us on today. Would you give your attention to the screen? He's going to be formally introduced. Uh, Yes. Welcome to the New Birth 2024 Prayer Crusade. This week at our 12 noon sessions, we are privileged to have with us Pastor Daniel Almatang, a beacon of hope and transformation in our generation. Known for his dynamic preaching, Pastor Daniel brings a prophetic mantle that's both powerful in healing and deliverance. He's not just a preacher. He's a mentor to thousands, inspiring youth worldwide to achieve their full full potential. A celebrated conference speaker, Pastor Daniel's message ignites a pursuit of excellence and purpose. He extends his passion through the Daniel Almatang Foundation, providing humanitarian aid globally, including pivotal support during the Ebola crisis in Sierra Leone and Liberia. His efforts have earned him numerous accolades, including the Ghana UK-based Award for Humanitarianism and the Distinguished Achievement Honorary Award for his work during the COVID-19 pandemic. Beyond the pulpit, he's an accomplished entrepreneur and author of over 20 bestsellers. His counsel has reached heads of states as he serves on multiple organizational boards, including the Taba Educational Initiative in the USA. Join us in welcoming Pastor Daniel Almatang, a true servant of God, here to share his wisdom and insights at New Birth's Prayer Crusade. Bless the Lord, would you stand and give a global welcome? Come on, open up your mouth and clap your hands for our prophet for this week. Come on, open up your mouth, make him feel welcome. Make him feel glad he flew over 14 hours to be with us for these three days. Come on, let's give God glory. Clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're excited to see the year 2024 can you clap your hands and bless the name of the lord and i'm excited that this is our year of answered prayers and the answered prayers is not just the prayers you are going to pray in 2024 all the prayers you prayed in 2012 2010 all of them about to be answered this particular year by the message of god amen i want to bless god for the life of the one and only dr jamel harrison bryant Oh, somebody clap your hands and bless God. Amen. I, I see him as a mentor navigating us through the things of God who carries the spirit of the living God. He was in Ghana and it was a blessing in our church and they are still talking about him. They are asking, when is he coming back? With all the impact that he's making, we are also duplicating most of them in Africa as well. And when we say, Doctor, God bless you. Thank you very much for inviting me over here. Let's bless God for all the ministers over here, all the preachers, all the pastors here. God bless you, all the leaders. We appreciate you all. And I came with two of my pastors, Pastor David and Pastor Ezekiel. Clap your hands for them. Amen. And all people watching online, God bless you. All over the world, in Ghana, Africa, any part, may God bless you. Amen. Now, um, this is a revival. Tell somebody, it's a revival. Now turn to somebody and say, this is a revival. Say, it's a New Year's revival. And for Dr. Bryant to actually pray about it, for us to do a revival at this part of the year, is highly spiritual. It's never normal. It's never physical. It is highly spiritual. I've been praying about it. I've been seeking the face of God about it. And God has revealed unto me a lot of things he has already done for us. 
And everybody has a word from God for their destinies. And my assignment in this three days, today and the next two days, my assignment is to prophetically align you to where you shall be this particular year. Prophetically, God is going to use me to open your eyes on so many things of your life and your, for your destiny. And this is not only for you, but for everyone that is connected to you. Your loved ones might not be here, but the blessing will hit them wherever they find themselves. And hear me? Any power of the enemy that has fought people for years is about to come to an end right now Jesus. by the mercies of God in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. You know, I flew for long hours just to be here. And the whole night, myself and my team were praying. Jesus. And the Lord revealed unto us so many things. The storm that is blowing, the flood that is coming around, it's not just for no reason. It's for a particular purpose. Some wrong things are blowing off your life so that negative things will be cleared your way. So that all the things God has designed for you, you shall receive all of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. And say after me, say in the name of Jesus. In the name. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And um, um, this particular week, I will take you to a lot of African style. Say African Jesus. style. Jesus. Amen. We'll go to a lot of African style of prayers, a lot of prophetic directions, and we are going to do some things that are highly spiritual and highly prophetic. Jesus. Because as you are moving up and down in life, the people you meet, you don't know who they are. Yes. And who sent them? Were they sent from God or they were sent by the enemy to disturb you? And every year, every year, God has something specific for people. But how can you know? You're supposed to key in into the mind of God. And something will happen in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Say, in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. By, the of God, by the hand of God. By the power of God. I walk in the glory. I walk in the strength of the Lord. This year, 2024, I win all my battles. I'm not a loser. I'm a winner by the message of God in the name of Jesus. If you believe you're a winner, can you clap your hands? Amen. So whilst we stand on our feet, I want us to read the scripture that will sit down. I'll speak for just about 15-20 minutes and everything I'm going to show you is, is, uh, is highly prophetic directions in the Bible. Amen prophetic directions in the Bible and the people on the screen today I will go through about five different tests so whilst I'm speaking I'll be asking you of the test and um, you'll be putting it on the screen for me so my first test here is Psalm 110 verse number 3 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 Amen Psalm 110 verse number 3 can you give me the KGV 1103. Yeah, Psalms 1103. Amen. Amen. Do we have it? Okay, I want somebody to read it. Amen. Verse 3. Yeah. Yes. 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 From the womb of the body. I, I want us to end over there. From the womb of the morning. 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 Help me to give the title of my sermon to the person on your left and right and say, My neighbor. My neighbor. Say, My neighbor. My neighbor. Command. Command. The, year. the year. Sit down. Now, there is something I want everybody to understand. When we mention about a new year, example, 2024, a new year, 2024 is not a number. 2024 is not just a figure. 2024 is a spirit being. When a new year is showing up, it is not just another number coming. It is a being that is coming. That's why 
Before the new year comes, people stand at different city centers to usher in the new year. People will stand in the city center of Atlanta, Times Square in New York, Piccadilly in London, or in Dubai. And people shall be waiting to usher the new year. If the new year was just a number, people will not sit down to welcome the new year. But because the new year comes with a name, everything that has a name carries a spirit. Anything that has a spirit has ears. And anything that has a spirit has a mouth. So as 2024 showed up, it was not just a number. It came as a spirit. And as it is coming, it is coming with a womb. Now inside of the womb, there are good things and there are bad things. It is up to you to either terminate the bad things or to deliver the good things. Now, every year is divided into morning, afternoon, evening, and the night of the year. I'm repeating. Every year is divided into the morning, afternoon, evening, and the night. The first part of the year, first three months, is the morning. And as you go from the fourth to the sixth month, we are in the afternoon. And the evening is from the seventh to the ninth. Then from the eighth to the twelfth day, we are in the night of the year. Now the morning of the year, it comes with a womb. So when you read Psalm 110 verse number 3, he says, thy people shall be willing in the day of your power. So the whole year shows up as a day. And inside of the day, we have the morning, afternoon, evening, and the night. But where the womb of the day is located is in the morning. Because as the year is coming, the womb is in the morning. Which means what you ever do in the morning can show up in the night. So, so what you do in January will determine what you see in December. So, so if you don't control your January and your February, another person can control your September. And hear me, it's not only a child of God who knows how to control. Other people who carry evil spirits, who know these things can also control. So witches and wizards can also control. But the power we have is this. We have the power of God. So when they declare, we can also speak and stop it by fire. Oh, those who are shouting, we will declare and stop it by fire. Now, look, look, look at this. So since you have the morning, afternoon, evening, and the night, the next thing you have to do is this. Before the year approaches or in the morning, you ask God that God, what has been spoken about me in the year? Because in the year, every year has a blessing that comes. And if your year can go bad, it doesn't happen in three months. It can happen one day. If your year can be good, it can happen within one day. Let me give you an example. Sit down. Cast your mind back. And remember some of the years in your life that were very bad for you. With all the things that happened in that year, it didn't happen for 10 days. It is only one incident that happened one day, but it affected your whole year. Cast your mind back again and remember the years that were very good to you. They didn't happen for 10 days. It was only one news you heard. That was a good news that changed your whole life. So, so everything about your year is dependent on what happens at a particular day. And the year comes with the womb. Now as a child of God, this is what you need to do. Pastor Ezekiel and Pastor David come for illustration. Since the year, as we read from the text, it comes with the womb of the morning. Anything in the womb, there are two things in the womb, is either a good child or a bad child. 
is either a good child or a bad child. So as the year is coming and the year has a womb, my question is, what is in the womb of the year? Is it coming with a good child? My good news, my elevation, my success, my promotion, my healing, or the bad child, my death or my disgrace. So, as a member of New Birth, who has come this afternoon for the New Year's revival, this is your assignment. Now that you know that the year comes with a womb, and it's either a good child or a bad child, you just declare to the womb of the year, if you are coming with my goodness, I attract you, I attract you, I deliver you, let it become my portion. But if you are coming with my disaster, I terminate you. I abort you. I block it. It will never stand. And I change it. Now, since it comes with a womb, whether good or bad, this is the next thing you have to know. Every year, every year, there are three entities that control every year. Every year, there are three entities. These are some things God showed me in prayer. And I sat down and I read and the Lord confirmed them to me. Every year, from 1970, from 1900, from 1980, from 2000, from 2012, every year is controlled by three separate entities. Tell the person around you, years are controlled by three entities. Oh, I can't feel you. Years are controlled by three entities. Pastor Daniel, what are the three entities controlled by the year? And is the year, they, are, they control the year. If you know these secrets, I'm giving you the good news. Number one, you shall not be afraid in the year. Number two, when disaster is coming, you will not be afraid. And everything that you need, you will be able to have them easily when you know these three entities that control the year. Tell us about the three entities. Yes. Now, these are the three entities. Dickin, can you please come for a minute? Thank you. These are the three entities that control the year. Stand here for me. Perfect. Every year you see, every year, from the year 2000, two, two, 2002, 2004, these three entities control every year you ever meet. Pastor Daniel, what are the three entities that control a year? I'm about to tell you something. If you want to get married, if you want to get married, if the marriage will come, it's by one of these entities. If you are sick and you want to be healed, it's by one of these entities. If, if a person is strong and they will get cancer in the year, it's by one of these entities. If somebody has cancer and they shall be healed, it's by one of these entities. If your children will come out of prison, it's from these entities. Every year you meet in life, I'm about to break it down for you, it's controlled by these three entities. And after I show you these three entities, I will now show you how to control the entities. If you know how to control these three entities, listen to me, at any point, no witch or wizard can ever torment you. No ancestral power from your father's background, no ancestral power from your mother's background can ever torment you in the year. No ancestral power can ever disturb your life if you know these three secrets. Pastor Daniel, what are the three entities that control a year? Number one, Angels of God. Number two. Demons. Number three. Human beings. Human beings. People. So now let me, let me go over. The three entities that control a year are three. Angels. Demons and human beings, people.
Pastor Daniel explained them to me. Whatever I will need in the year, my favor has to come from God. Before it comes from God, God has to send an angel. Come on, God. If the devil wants to fight me, the devil works through demons. Now we have human beings. With human beings, we have good human beings and bad human beings. The people that will disturb you in 2024, bad human beings. The people that shall be good to you, good human beings. So if you know how to control this, your year can be great. Angels, demons, human beings. And in the human beings, we have good and bad. So now let me explain something to you. Can I continue? When the year begins, God sends a strong angel just for the year. The angel for 2024 for your life is different from the angel of 2023. Because the battles you will encounter this year is different from the battles you encountered last year. So God sends a strange angel just for 2024. First Chronicles 21 verse number 16. If it, it, it's on the screen, it will really help me. But somebody can read it for me. First Chronicles 21 verse number 16. I want to break some things down for you. Can it be on the screen? First Chronicles 21 16. But somebody can read it for me. First Chronicles 21 16. Somebody should read it for me. First Chronicles 21 16. I want to show you something. I'll be done with you in the next eight minutes. And, 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 and I will now show you how to control these entities. First Chronicles 21, 16. Let's go, please. And David lifted up his eyes. David lifted up his eyes. And saw the angel of the Lord. And saw the angel of the Lord. Stand between the earth and the heavens. Standing between the earth and the heavens. So beginning of the year... God sends a particular angel standing between the heavens and the earth. And that angel comes with a sword. Continue. Continue. Having a sword drawn in his hand. It's okay. So this angel that is released for the year, it is hanging between heavens and the earth. And the angel comes with a sword. So as the year begins, God gives you one particular angel with a sword just to make sure you have been protected just to make sure you have been delivered from every agenda of the enemy now I can say many, many things about the angels but let's go to demons Pastor Daniel why is a demon released in a particular year this is the reason Satan who has representatives that are called demons one day had a meeting with God. And in the meeting, Satan appeared. And God said to Satan, why are you here in the book of Job? And Satan said, I've been moving to and fro, up and down. So every year, demons are moving up and down, to and fro, everywhere. And they are moving up and down just to fulfill an assignment. Listen, when Satan said that to God, God didn't re rebuke Satan. Satan said, God said, Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Why didn't God rebuke Satan? Can I tell you the reason? Because God knows that Satan's assignment is to go to and fro. And the Bible says, Satan said, I've been going up and down. The Bible didn't say I've been going down and up. Satan said, I've been going up and up and give it to me. Job 1 verse 6. I want to show you something. If you know this secret, when you wake up in the morning, you are not afraid. Because you know that demons, angels, people, you will choose the one you want. Oh, look at the way you are shouting. I said, you will choose the one you want. Let's go. Now let's all listen. Let's go. 
Let's go. Now there was a day when the sons of God yes. came to present themselves before the Lord. Yes. And Satan came also Shh. among them. Listen, God is having a meeting. Why is Satan there? And God, why did he choose sack Satan? Because God has given the order that Satan, you can move up and down. So every year, Satan is moving up and down. But it's about how you can direct her to go. So Satan, I know you are moving up and down. But don't come this side. Pass this side. Satan, don't come close to me. I know you are moving up and down. Pass where you want to go. Satan, I know you are walking around the area. But minus my house. Satan, I know you are crazy. But don't try me. Satan, Satan, I know... You are touching the bodies of people with sicknesses. But Satan, don't try me. Today I declare, any Satan try you, I block it. I stop it. I fight it now. I rebuke every disease from your body. Any disease in your family. Any disease in your family. Any disease in your family. I rebuke it right now. It will not work. It will not succeed. I change it now. Sit down for just three minutes. Sit down for three minutes. Now, let's continue. So, Satan is with God. And God didn't rebuke Satan. Because Satan knows that it's his assignment. Continue. And the Lord said unto Satan, uh -huh. Whence comest thou? Satan, tell it, where are you coming from? This, this is God and Satan. Listen, but God, if you have power, why did you choose sack him? God, if you are all powerful, why did you choose sack Satan? God didn't sack Satan. Because it's a principle that every year, angels, demons, and human beings have to do their job. Because God has the power to rebuke Satan. But he didn't do. Because God works with principles. So have you considered my servant Job? Continue. Then Satan answered the Lord. Now this is the answer to our question. Satan answered the Lord. And said from going to and fro in the earth. Number one. From going to and fro. What is the meaning? So Satan goes to and fro. So he comes to you. And he also goes backwards. He comes to you and goes backwards. So when he's coming to you, you can tell him, go backwards. When he's trying your family, tell Satan, go backwards. Number two, he says, from going to and fro, which means Satan has a source to and fro, from from me, Satan has a source. Before he attacks you, there is always a source. And where is the source of the Satan fighting you? Is it from your family background? Is it a curse that was spoken on your grandfather? Is it a friend who cast a spell on you? Is it an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend who did something to you? There is always a source. Sometimes, hear me? Sometimes it is a food somebody has eaten. And the food can be a source. I don't know whether they have the thing on the screen. A man went to a funeral. Is the media people here? Do they have it on the screen? They are working on it. There's a picture I brought. A man went to a funeral and he saw a relative and the relative, relative said to him, the, the man came to my church, the relative said to him, you will die like the one that has been buried. That was it. The man was there, he had a boil on the cheeks. Doctors have to drain the fluid for six months. Then somebody in my church brought the man to the church. For the first time, the man had a big, oh, they, they have it on picture. And I think you need it. 
Where is it? Perfect. Look at it. They had to always drain fluid. Doctors did every scan. At the hospital in Canada, it's called 37 military hospital. They couldn't do anything. The man came to the church and I said to him, you have been cursed by your own cousin. He said, Prophet, it's true. On the day of the funeral, the cousin said, you will die like the way your brother is dead. And I said to the man, by the anointing, I asked him to get a mantle. I prayed on the mantle. I told him, put it by your cheeks. Go back to the hospital. Do another checkup. Doctors did the checkup. They said, something is healing. Within three weeks, the man is healed. Look at it right now. Now, thank you. You can take it off. Look at the man healed. I'm the one standing there. So let me show you something. There is always a source. There is always a source. From going to an flow. The flow is the from. Now, this is where we surprise you. Continue. And from walking up and down in it. Someone say up and down. Say up and down. Now, Mister, why did the Bible say Satan confessed to God that God, I've been walking up and down? Satan, we always go from down to up. But why are you going from? Can I tell you? Satan's targets are always people who are up. His targets are always people who are moving up. Because so long as you are down, he doesn't care about you. But when you are... That's why when your life begins to move high, you've got to be more prayerful. When your life begins to go high, you've got to always be in church. Because in 2024, you are saying to yourself that, God, I want to go high. Satan's targets are always people who are high. Wow. So, he begins his journey from up to down. And after he attacks people up and he brings them down, he stands on them. Because this is Satan talking. So, this is Satan's manifesto. I've been walking up and down. Check in your family. Anybody who is high there, they are under attack. Check among your children. The one that is high is always under attack. But today, in 2024, any power, any enemy, any power, any enemy, any power, any enemy, I stand by the altar. I stand by the altar. I stand by the altar. I reject it. I stop it. I block it now. Somebody be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Thank you. I couldn't finish. I'll continue tomorrow. Jesus. Tomorrow, I'll go by the side of human beings. I'll go by the side of human beings. So they are just the angels and demons. I want us to pray. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. Listen. When the Lord gave me these secrets, I said, God, so now, what do we do? If angels... Angels, come again. Whilst we're standing, angels, demons, human beings. So God, if angels control the year, demons control, and human beings control, what do I do now so that I can be a winner? And the Lord said, Daniel, the answers are three. Number one, the Lord says, how you control these people is by you, the power of your words. So you command the angel and say, Angel, work for me this year. Angel, bring me my blessings. Angels, bring me my favor. Angels, bring me my elevation. Angels, bring to me what belongs to me. Demons, go away. Demons, leave. Demons, shift. Demons, don't try me. The same way to God. Any good human being, bring me my blessings. 
let them attracted to me. Let them be attracted to me. Anybody who shall betray me, I rebuke you from coming. That's number one. Number two, how do you control this? Number two, and that's what we'll do today. It's called God, order my steps. Jesus. God, order my steps. Why? Because if my good human being is supposed to meet me on, on the 3rd of May at Lenders Mall, I'm supposed to be there at that time. If I'm supposed to meet a good person at Lithonia, Georgia or 6400 Woodrow Road, I'm supposed to be there. If the person to help you is here and you are not here, you will miss it. Yes. So God, order my steps. And number three, how do you control these three entities? Number three, how do you control these three entities? By the power of your sacrifices on the altar. Because what angels believe and what angels know, it's a sacrifice on the altar. When angels know that you have a sacrifice on the altar, I'll give you an example. This is an altar. This altar in the musical hall is only a stage. This altar all the way at White House is only a presidential podium. But this stage, when it comes here, listen, when it comes here, it's still a stage. What makes it an altar is when I take a sacrifice and I place it on. The moment I place it on, it's no more a stage here. Jesus. It is an altar of sacrifice. Jesus. So it's no more a stage or a podium at the musical concert theater. But it is an altar. Now, anytime my money is on my altar, the money speaks for me. Because hear me, every altar has a mouth. Every altar has a mouth. But for the mouth to speak, it's about the sacrifice on that altar. Anytime you come to church and you come by the altar, two things are happening. Because it has a mouth, two things are happening. It is vomiting and also swallowing. Let me explain. This altar has a mouth. Any day you are in church, the mouth is open. It's either vomiting out or swallowing things. Pastor Daniel, what is being swallowed and what is being vomited? When Pastor Brian tells you, God is going to favor you, the altar vomit out your favor. Yes. The altar vomit out your blessings. And when Dr. Brian tells you, I rebuild the spirit of disease, the altar swallows all your troubles, swallows all your disaster, swallows all your calamity. So your money you put on the altar is either something bad leaves you or you receive something good. Lift up your hands. Jesus. And today, Jesus. we will anoint our feet. Jesus. Today, Oliver, you'll be here. Everybody's feet will be anointed. Jesus. That Jehovah order my steps. Amen. And tomorrow, I will take you to another level that every year is controlled by gates. Some will say gates. Yes. And so tomorrow, when you are coming for the service, I want everybody to look for a key. Some will say a key. A key. Say a key. a key. Do you know a key? Bring a key. And if you could, try to get a key that when we finish, you can throw it away. Any key that you don't like. Is that okay? Yeah. Something will happen. Right. And you come with a sacrifice I'll tell you about towards the end of the service. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. We are about to pray. We are about to command our angels. We are about to rebuke the demons. We are about to bring good human beings. We are about to stop bad human beings. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 2024. 2024. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. Listen. 2024. Open your eyes and hear me. 2024 is not a number. It is a being. 
It is a human being. It is a spirit. It's a spiritual being. So you are about to command 2024. Jesus. So as you command 2024, point your hand to 2024. Point your hand to it. Say 2024. 2024. Obey my voice. Obey my voice. I know. I know. You have come. You have come. With a lot of package. With a lot of package. Any blessing. Any blessing. Inside. Inside. I take my own. I take my own. Any disaster. Any disaster. I reject it. I reject it. My fire. Listen. Listen. When Joe, Joe went through his crisis and he was blaming God, God called Job and said, Job, you call yourself Job, but you don't know the secret of life. I'm about to show you what you need to do to be free. And God called Job, give me the test. Job 38 verse 12, and you know that although Job went through crisis, Job never commanded his mourning. So God said, Job, don't, 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 don't complain. You are going to what you are going to because you didn't know how to command. Because the year is about angels, demons, and human beings. And we are about to prove it. Job 38 verse number 12. Let's go. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? Again, 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 again. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? So when Job went through this crisis, God said, Job, you are busy complaining to me. Since you were born, you have never commanded your morning. If you had commanded your morning, the morning that Satan came to God, your command would have stopped Satan from coming to you. Let's continue. Let's continue. And caused the day spring to know his place. To know, to let the day spring, the order of the day, to be aligned in your favor. Continue. I like another place coming. Let's go. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth. This is called order. To take hold of the edges of the world. Let's go. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. It's the okay. It's okay. It's okay. Repeat that side. Repeat that side. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. Re repeat it again. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. Repeat it again. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. Repeat it again. That the God. wicked might be shaken out of it. Jesus. So listen, new birth. Listen, for the wicked to live your life, you have to command your morning. And your morning is the beginning of the year. So if the wicked is still by you, you've not commanded your morning. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. God gave me these revelations. I said, wow. Say, oh God. Oh God. I command the year. I command the year. I command my morning. I command my morning. I shake off. I shake off. Every demonic power. Every demonic power. I shake off. I shake off. Every disaster. Every disaster. Now. As I clap my hands, as I pray, I shake off. Somebody clap hands and pray. Let's pray. Leke baya 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 Leke baya 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 Apaya pa Leka baya baya Apaya pa Leka baya baya Apaya pa Leke baya baya pa Somebody pray Apaya Somebody pray Apaya Shake baya baya Apaya Shake baya baya Apaya Leka baya baya Apaya Leka baya baya Apaya Leke le brende le be Yeah 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 Apaya Yeah 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 Apaya Leke le be Apaya Apaya 
Command your money. 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 Leke lebe. Leke lebe. Le blokete. Shekete kaya. Shekete li. Shekete li ba. Shekata pai. Rapata pai. Lekete pai. Shekete pai. Shekete pai. Shekete pai. Shekete pai. Shekete pai. Shekete pai. In the name of Jesus, fire, fire, fire. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Now, we are sending the fire of God to circle around our lives. Somebody shall fire. Fire. Shall fire. Fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Fire. The Bible says our God is a consuming fire. What is a consuming fire? It comes to burn. Jesus. So this year, anything that is not from God, Jesus. we use the fire of God to burn. Amen. Listen, whatever I say, you shout, I burn it by fire. Any disaster, I burn it by fire. Disappointment, I burn it by fire. Cancer, I burn it by fire. Disgrace, I burn it by fire. Premature death. I burn it by fire. Evil people. I burn it by fire. Negativity. I burn it by fire. Organ failure. I burn it by fire. Betrayer. I burn it by fire. Anything that is negative. I burn it by fire. So fire. Fire. This your last prayer. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Listen, listen. This is how you begin the year. Yes, Lord. This is how you start the year. Yes. That as the year begins, you have already declared on the year. Yes, Amen. You know where to be. You know where to find yourself. Jesus. And listen, I'm about to pray for people. And by the Spirit of God, by the power of God, no enemy can ever disappoint you. Amen. A lady came to our church. Jesus. 56 years, no baby. When I walked to her, I said, Auntie, the Lord said unto me, A man you dated cries you and said, Because you left him, you will never have anybody. Jesus. And I called the name of the man to her. She started crying. Today, God revealed a lot of things over here. And I said to her, By the power of God, God will visit you. Jesus. She found somebody, and as I'm talking to you right now, at the age of 56 years, she has given birth to a boy. Wow, wow, wow. My wow. God. And listen, wow. when she became pregnant, when the pregnancy was the age of six months, the man who cares her died. Jesus. My God. Because some people, this is what they always tell you, before you can make it over their dead bodies. So if they say, over their dead bodies, so shall it be. If they say over their dead bodies, so shall it be. Because if you tell me before I can succeed over your dead body, Jesus. then it means I can only succeed when I see your dead body. Jesus. So whoever says over their dead bodies, so shall it be. Lift up your right hand. This is your last prayer. Jesus. I speak into your family background. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Any ancestral power. Jesus. Jesus. Listen, let me tell you this before we do the last prayer. A young child around the age of two to three years, the family comes to church, the grandparents come to church, and the child is on life support in Germany. Doctors don't know what to do. Get it ready for me. They called, they had to let us send them DHL for a church mantle to Germany. And doctors told them that the life support can be switched off at any time. And I said to them, let the altar of God speak. 
that the grandparents who are in Ghana came to the church altar and they came to drop a sacrifice on the altar and said, God, let the sacrifice on the altar deliver the grandchild in Germany. We prayed together. We saw the face of God. The child that was on life support machine, she came back to life. And today the child is free. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. My God. Do they have that one? Jesus. Do they have that one? Lift up, right Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Huh? This is when the child was on life support. Jesus. Give it to me more. When the child was on life support. And that's the manner. Let's go. Be changing it. Be changing it. Continue. It will come to when the child became well. Yeah. Yeah. So do, do you have the one when the, when the child became well? Wow. When wow. the child became wow. well. Came from life support. And this is our church mantle. That is on the child. When it says 2023, that's the church mantle. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. My God. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. 2024. 2024. I take my blessings from you. I take my blessings from you. I take my favor from you. I take my favor from you. Right now. Right now. I will not be denied. I will not be denied. My blessings. My blessings. I will not be denied. I will not be denied. My favor. My favor. I will not be denied. I will not be denied. My elevation. My elevation. Now. Now. Somebody attract your blessing. Clap your hands. Attract your blessings. Attract it. Attract it. Attract it. Give me the oil. I attract it. My blessings. I attract it. My favor, I attract my elevation, I attract my success, I attract every greatness, I attract what God has designed for my life, I attract by fire, attract it, attract it, attract it, attract it. Attracted, 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 attracted. We come on, 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 we come on. Somebody, you can come on the altar and drop your seed. Come on the altar. Drop your seat. Come on the altar. Maya Bayaba. Come on the altar. Drop your seat. Drop your sacrifices. Somebody pray. Command your blessings. Command your favors. Command your favors. Now. Lebaya. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Shake it. 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 Jabaya bay. Yandole bay. Leke bay. Ya yandole brende. Let God arise. 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 Rocket fire. Shake it up. 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 Ya 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 ya. Le brande ke ya ba ya. Ye ke le ba ya ba. Ye ke ba ya ba ya. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Let it up. Rapa ya. Rapa ya. 